Hey guys, welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I want to show you a CRT shader preset that I've been working on, which can be used with RetroArch. The name of the shader preset is Retro Crisis GDV NTSC. So the first half of the name, Retro Crisis, is in reference to myself and my channel. And the second half, GDV NTSC, is in direct reference to the guest advanced NTSC shader, which is a superb shader by Guest R, and I simply can't emphasize enough how my CRT shader preset would be impossible without the Guest Advanced NTSC shader. Anyway, let's get onto the installation procedure. So all you need to do is go to my GitHub page, which I'll leave in the description below, and then once you're there, you need to go to Retro Crisis GDV NTSC, and then go to Releases, and then find the latest version, then go to the Assets section, and then download the zip file. Once you've downloaded the zip file, you need to extract it. And then this is the folder you'll be presented with. It's called shaders. Inside there you'll find shaders underscore slang and within there you'll find retro crisis. And then within there you'll find the shader preset, which is retro crisis GDV NTSC arcade. The shader preset I've made today is primarily geared towards arcade games. So I've heavily tested this with Final Burn Neo and MAME. Technically the preset will work with anything, but for the best experience, use this with arcade games. So let's go back to the root of this. Now what you need to do is highlight the shaders folder and then just cut it into memory. And now go to your RetroWatch installation location. And within your RetroWatch folder there will already be a folder called shaders. Now all we need to do is right click and paste. And that's pretty much the installation done. So let's double check it's in this. So go into shaders, go into shaders underscore slang, and then you'll see the retro crisis folder here. So let's go into it quickly. And there we have retro crisis GDV NTSC arcade. Now let's open RetroArch. Okay, so there's only a few tiny little bits of configuration we need to do. Go to settings, go to video and output and video driver and set this to Vulcan. Go back and then you need to close down RetroArch and open it up again. If you're finding you're having difficulty with Vulkan or RetroArch isn't opening up again after you've changed it, don't worry, I've got a fix to this issue, which is in the form of a video, which I'll leave linked in the description below. And once you've reopened RetroArch, go back to settings, video and scaling. And these are the settings I'm using. So I've got integer scaling switched off, and then aspect ratio, I generally always leave to core provided. And finally, crop overscan, which I leave on. And go back. Now go to online updater, go all the way down to update slang shaders. If you do see update slang shaders visible, everything is going well, you're on the right track. And then press enter to update. And now load up a game of your choice. And once you're in the game, press F1 to go to the quick menu, go down to shaders, go to load, and you need to go to shaders slang and go all the way down to retro crisis. Now that's quite a long way to scroll down. What you could do is just press up here and it'll take you to the bottom and you can get to retro crisis a bit quicker. Anyway, go in there and once you're in there, select retro crisis GDV NTSC arcade. For the moment, you can ignore the Master System and Mega Drive presets. Those are on their way. And then once you've selected the arcade preset, press F1 to go back to your game. And here is a quick side-by-side -side of Street Fighter 2 with and without my shader preset. This is my first time doing anything like this, so pretty nerve-wracking, but if you have any feedback or any thoughts, do let me know in the comments. Anyway, here's a quick showcase of Retro Crisis GDV NTSC Arcade in action. And a big thank you to everyone that nominated an arcade game in my community post earlier this week.